Hello from Hawaii. I am so excited to be here. We are spending the week here in Kauai with Aiden's family and I am so, so grateful and thankful to be here. You can hear the sounds right now. It is just the most stunning place ever. I've actually been here once before and it was with Aiden back when we first started dating. I was 18, Aiden was 19. It is such a magical place to visit. We have about six full days here and so we plan on doing lots of just hiking and beach days and I'm just so excited to bring you guys along because truly it is just such a magical place and you feel so distant. We flew in last night very late. We got in at about like 8 30 but it had been a very long long travel day and so felt nice just to get a really great night's sleep and I always appreciate coming here because it's so much easier to wake up earlier with being used to being four hours ahead and so it's nice to just get those earlier mornings and woke up this morning caught the sunrise drank some coffee just so so nice and so I'm excited to have our first full day here I'm not too sure what we're doing today I think we talked about doing just kind of a smaller hike or maybe just a walk and then maybe going down and seeing the beach and just kind of getting settled and then probably tomorrow we'll start doing more bigger hikes and just exploring more of the island. We are staying in the North Shore so we are near Princeville. That's where this house is and I will share a little overview of the house. Again this is with Aiden's family and so I do want to be like respectful of everyone and not be shoving a camera in everyone's face but I will try to get some clips of the house. I might end up changing too because I'm not too sure what we're doing today but I threw on this little jumpsuit for the morning. This is actually from my newly order but it's originally from from anthropology super comfortable and loose for Hawaii the weather also looks beautiful of course it does change very quickly here but right now it says it's gonna be 70 and sunny all week so it has this really amazing wraparound porch up here but this is our view it is seriously so stunning you can see the beach over there and then you come over here I feel like this is where we've been spending most of our time this morning they have this little deck area that is just so nice for drinking coffee and then of course over here the cool thing about this house you actually feel like you're in the middle of the jungle it is just so pretty you can't really see with the sun right there got all the palm trees we did discover that we have a little friend over here and it is honestly a little bit terrifying but <laughs> you can't even tell how big it is on the video but it is the most giant spider it's huge sitting area and then you come in here got the nice living room area oh <laughs> <laughs> you can be in it, Ryan. Got our kitchen. This is the room that Aiden and I are staying in. Got a pretty view over here. I feel like all the windows in here just have the most stunning views too. You can see the ocean over here too. And then I'm not gonna go upstairs because that's where the rest of the family is staying and I don't wanna go record all their stuff. But over here we also have bathroom. This is the bathroom that we're using, which has plenty of space, lots of mirrors. And yeah, that's pretty much it for because it was our first day, we didn't want to do anything too crazy, so we decided just to walk down to Sea Lodge Beach. The trailhead for this beach was actually only about 25 minutes to walk over to. It is right across the street from the Sea Lodge condos, and then you take about a 15 minute hike down this trail and you'll get to a very beautiful beach. I would say that it's not the most swimmable beach just because it is more rocky, but it definitely has beautiful views of the North Shore, which we love to see. mom was grabbing some groceries at the store so we're waiting for them to come home but I wanted to share a couple of the books that I brought on this trip. I definitely want to try to do a lot of reading and just especially with this outdoor space it's so quiet and I'm trying to spend as much time as possible out here. So this one I bring pretty much on any travel that I do. It's called Every Moment Holy. And I love this because it has a bunch of different just prayers and words to reflect on different seasons of your life. And it has a lot on just traveling, it has some for the morning time, the evening time. It is great. I love this. I basically, like I mentioned, bring that everywhere with me. And then this is just kind of a fun read. Aiden actually got me this for Christmas because I read The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And I want to try to finish this one on this trip i've only made it through like 20 pages that i read on the plane probably 30 or so pages that i read back home but it's called the great alone so we just did this hike to sea lodge beach which was so cool it was a very kind of hidden beach and it was nice to find that i definitely don't recommend doing it in sandals because it was really muddy but we then drove up the north shore we originally were trying to go to the haena state park but we realized that you had to have a reservation which i would definitely recommend booking a few weeks in advance if you want to visit the state park we just weren't aware of that Thankfully, we were able to get a reservation for 
towards the end of our trip, but I would definitely recommend booking that beforehand. So instead we decided to go to the Hanalei National Wildlife Refuge Center. They had a hiking trail that we did. This one was the Okulehau Trail. And this trail actually goes up about 2.5 miles. There are a couple of overlooks. We just went to the first one, which was about two thirds of a mile in, but I will say it was basically all uphill. So it was definitely a good workout. And the view was still really pretty. You see a lot of Hanalei Bay, Hanalei Valley, and then of course just up the Nepali coast, which was beautiful. We then watched the sunset at Hanalei Beach, which was definitely our favorite beach, and we went here quite a few times on our trip. morning it is the next day we are headed on another hike today this one is a little bit farther away from us because we're staying on the north shore most of the hikes that we want to do are over about a two hour drive away because you kind of have to go around the entire island which is totally fine because it's a beautiful drive but we were doing the awawa pui trail i believe i'm saying that correctly i've actually done this hike once before and it is so so beautiful so i'm really excited i think we'll probably stay over on that side of the island for the rest of the day too just while we're over there after driving for today's hiking outfit i am wearing this jumpsuit that is from free people Movie. Movement. It's super comfortable. I'm wearing a size small and then I'll probably just throw on my hiking boots But we then made the two-hour trek to the Waimea Canyon and honestly anywhere you drive in Kauai is beautiful So we did not mind driving we got just really nice views of both the east side the south side The Awapui Trail was definitely my favorite hike that we did. I will say it was also the most difficult one. This is not something that I would take lightly. I'd bring plenty of water and just be ready for it, especially for the trek back because going there it's really not bad because it's mostly going downhill when you get to the view which is so worth it of the nepali coast it is so surreal seeing all of these cliffs and the first time i did this hike i was a little bit terrified because i'm not the best with heights but doing it the second time i definitely felt more confident and it was so worth it but on the way back i will warn you that it is pretty strenuous i'm pretty active i would say and it was still definitely a workout because it's mostly uphill on the way back and this is a six mile hike round trip but like i mentioned totally worth it and would definitely recommend doing it even if it's a drive from where you're staying And then on the way home, we treated ourselves to some acai bowls. We stopped by G's Juice Bar and it was delicious. They also have a JoJo's shaved ice across the street. So half of us went there, half of us got acai bowls and it was lovely. And then on the way home, we stopped by Poipu Beach since it was close by and caught the sunset, which was stunning. But for me personally, I loved the fact that we were able to see a sea turtle here, which I know is very common for this beach specifically. A lot of the sea turtles will come out of the water and just bask in the sun, which is so sweet to see from afar. You really are not supposed to get close at all. I really zoomed in on this clip. In Hawaii specifically, sea turtles are known as hanu and they're seen as a symbol of prosperity and good luck. And so. This is just so sweet to see and one of my highlights of the trip. We are back now from such a long day. It's like 7.45 right now. We have basically been gone all day. It's been such a fun one though, starting off with the hike. It was definitely more difficult on the way back from the hike as opposed to going to the view, but the view was stunning. Such a great hike and definitely worth it. And then we also watched the sunset at Poipu Beach and my personal highlight of the day was definitely seeing the sea turtle. I have never seen a sea turtle up on the beach before, but I knew that especially at the beach we went to, Poipu Beach, that they have quite a few sea turtle spottings and of course just watch from afar and get close or anything, but it was just so surreal seeing such a large 
sea turtle up on the beach. It was crazy and definitely made my day. They're just such majestic creatures that it was so crazy to see something like that. But such a fun day. We're about to make some dinner and just chill out for the rest of the night. I feel like I'm ready for a shower too. I definitely smell bad waiting for Aiden and then gonna shower, get into some comfy clothes. I did wanna share that the one piece that I wore to watch the sunset tonight is from Tula Rosa, it's from Revolve. I got it when it was on sale. I don't know if it's still on sale right now, but I think that it's super cute. Just a really comfortable one piece swimsuit that isn't super cheeky or anything, but it's just really comfy. I also love the pink color, I think it's cute. Saturday. We're just having a slow Saturday morning around here. This is kind of the one day that we don't have anything actually booked or planned. And so I'm pretty sure we're just going to do a full beach day today. I'm not too sure which beach we're going to go to. I feel like the one thing that's a little bit tricky around here is the parking situation. I believe all the beaches in Kauai are public beaches, but it's sometimes hard to find parking. So we're trying to figure out if we could find like a bike path or something to be able to get access to a certain beach, but I'll let you guys know where we end up going. I know that there's also a farmer's market in Hanalei, which I thought would be cool to stop by. I don't know if we'll make that happen, but I think that is from 9.30 to 12.30. And I always love visiting like different farmer's markets when we travel, it's one of my favorite things. And so I would love to do that. If not, that's okay. I think we're just gonna do a full beach day. I change into this dress that's from Petal and Pup. I don't know if I'll keep this on depending on what we end up doing, but it's really, really comfortable and just lightweight, which is nice. Definitely a slower day, but I'm excited to just explore more of the island. We drove over to Hanalei and I was so thrilled that we were able to catch the farmer's market. It is on Saturdays from 9.30 to 12.30. And of course there are so many different local vendors selling fresh fruit, jewelry, artwork. Definitely one of my favorite things to do when we travel. It's just really nice to be able to support local businesses and also just see what everyone is selling. We then walked over to Aloha Juice Bar and here they have drinking coconuts, smoothies, acai bowls. There are a lot of places like this all over Kauai, but this one specifically was delicious. Aiden and I both got smoothies. They were so great. And then we headed back over to Hanalei Beach and this was definitely our favorite beach. For me personally, one of my favorite parts about the Hawaii beaches is being able to watch the surfers. It is so amazing seeing how skilled they are in the waves. I hardly got in the ocean too much because I personally am not the absolute best swimmer, so I just don't like to risk it, but it's really fun getting to watch the surfers and it's really such an art just being able to see how they move their bodies. And of course you can snorkel as well in a lot of these beaches, but this is one of our particular favorites. back now from the beach we had such a nice entire day of being at the beach which was great and i just have to say we have been loving the Hanalei beach that's the one that we went to in the north shore it is so much more chill not super crowded compared to when we went to poipu beach last night to watch the sunset which is also a really really beautiful beach but it's just nice i feel like the north shore is definitely more quiet but now we are headed to dinner tonight i'm not entirely sure where we're gonna go to dinner i'm pretty sure we're just gonna grab dinner somewhere in princeville so i'll share where we end up going i need to shower still i've been wearing this dress as a cover-up gonna change shower and i'm excited we haven't really eaten out at all here in Kauai, so it'll be fun to grab dinner out just finished getting ready i didn't end up washing my hair so this is just my salt water hair but I just threw on this dress that is from my newly. I really like it. I think it's originally anthropology, but super comfy. Just gonna throw on some sandals and we are good to go. And then for dinner, we went to Happy Talk Lounge and Bar. And this actually isn't affiliated with the Hanalei Bay Resort, but it basically is inside of the Hanalei Bay Resort, which is really nice because it's just a beautiful resort. And we really enjoyed our meal here too. Good morning. Sorry, this is an odd angle. It's the next day. 
Today is such a fun day because we are doing a boat ride today. We're doing a boat ride through this company called Captain Andy's and they do like a dinner. You can see the sunset and you'll also see all the views of the Nepali coast, which is gonna be so, so fun. So I'm picking out what I wanna wear right now. I think I'm gonna do this dress. This is from Free People. I think it's really cute, it has an open back. And then I'm also gonna throw in a cardigan too. I'm just packing up all my stuff. I, this morning, went for a walk, so just wearing some athleisure stuff, but I definitely wanna wear something a little bit cuter on the boat. I also just threw my hair back just so it was out of my face. But before then, it's actually the morning time. We're leaving super early though, cause we're just gonna spend the day over on a different coast of the island. I think we're gonna go to the Kauai Coffee Company, which is a really great coffee farm where they grow all their beans there. We've done this once before and it's really cool. You can like sample all the coffee and everything. So we're gonna stop by there. Our ride goes out, I believe through the south shore of Kauai. So we are staying on the north shore. So we have a bit of a drive today, but it should be really fun. I'm so excited. Kauai Coffee Company is Hawaii's largest coffee grower, and they're actually the largest coffee estate in the U.S. in general. I think it's about 3,100 acres, which is crazy. They also have a gift shop, a museum, and of course, a lot of coffee that you can purchase. Then you can just walk around and see the whole coffee estate, which is crazy. It is literally huge. It actually used to be the McBride Sugar Company until it switched to the Kauai Coffee Company. I really looked forward to this boat ride because the Nepali coast actually can't be accessed by vehicles. You really do get the best views either by hiking, by helicopter, or of course by a catamaran boat. But it was so special specifically because we happened to be here during the peak of the whale season here in Kauai. You have a good chance of seeing whales in Kauai basically any time in the winter, but specifically January and February are the peak months. And we had so many humpback whale sightings on our boat, which was crazy. Humpback whales are one of the largest and most peaceful creatures on earth. It's just so crazy seeing such graceful animals that are also gigantic. And we watched from afar, of course, but this was really just such a magical part of the trip for me. And of course it was magical just seeing the whole Nepali coast, which is home to some of the largest and most beautiful waterfalls. It has the most stunning sea arches, hidden caves, and they've actually filmed so many different movies here like King Kong and my personal favorite, which was Pirates of the Caribbean. I would recommend bringing some sort of jacket. I was pretty chilly on our boat ride. I did bring a cardigan, but I wish I brought a thicker jacket because it definitely got a bit chilly. It's the next day they're doing some lawn work out here so it might be a little bit noisy but i wanted to update you guys that yesterday's boat ride was so surreal we are actually here during the peak whale season and it was one of those things i wasn't expecting to actually see whales but we had so many whale sightings of course seeing the whole coast too is just amazing but we are having ourselves a beach day this morning so we're headed back to the hanalei beach and then later this afternoon we are actually hiking it should be a lot of fun just changed into a little dress from free people and then my swimsuit and excited for another day of adventure Before we went to the beach, we stopped by Wishing Well, which has both shaved ice and coffee. And what was so cool was when she handed me my cold brew, it was in the super cute mason jar. And I was like, oh, could I actually get a to-go cup? And she said, that is the to-go cup. I know that that's an effort to minimize waste, but it's also nice getting a souvenir with your coffee too.
weren't able to get a parking pass, so we just took a shuttle to the Hot and Oz State Park. And I would recommend, again, booking this in advance, even if you're just taking the shuttle. The shuttle had really nice views too, and we also got a really nice kind of tour, so we really appreciated that. And then we hiked the Kalalau Trail, which is an 11 mile hike total if you do the entire thing. You do have to get an overnight permit if you wanna do that, but we just hiked the first two miles to Hanakapiai Beach. But you can of course continue on if you wanna do the entire hike. This hike again was just so gorgeous. You saw just really incredible views of the Nepali coast along the coastline. And I cannot get over how blue the water was on this hike it was so surreal and it's kind of like a tease when you're doing this hike because you know you're eventually going to get to a beach and you're gonna jump in but it is nice to have that as some encouragement along the way And then of course you end at the Hanakapiai beach, which is a lovely beach. And we had some fun cooling off here for about 20, 30 minutes before heading back on the trail. was of course beautiful i don't think you could hike anywhere here in Kauai and it not be beautiful but i would say that that was probably the easiest hike that we did i think all the ones we've done have been moderate and that one was also moderate but it just didn't have as much uphill to it so it really wasn't that bad it was really nice getting to go to the beach at the end it was fun just kind of hiking there i would say the one thing that's a little bit tricky is you can't park and bring all your stuff unless you get a parking pass and that's something that i would definitely recommend getting early on even just booking a reservation in general we did it probably like five days in advance and it was pretty much booked up so i would definitely recommend doing that before but it was still fun just getting to hike and only bringing what you absolutely needed and whatnot and course it's just so so beautiful but now i'm actually gonna do some laundry i'm trying to do most of my laundry before we get back because i have friends coming into town basically the day after so I'm trying to get everything done so i don't have to do that when they come and it's just nice to go home and not have too much laundry to do and also just want to organize all my clothes because they're kind of in a giant pile and then for the rest of the evening it's about six o'clock now we're just gonna make some dinner i think we're doing a pizza night hang out we've been watching white lotus season one i've already seen it before but we're re-watching it it's been really fun to do in the evenings just because we're in hawaii and i think season one was based in maui so it's just fun being in the same state I don't even know if you can see me right now. I don't think you can. I am currently walking to go watch the sunrise at the beach, but it's about like a 45 minute walk. I left relatively early. It's about like 6.30 right now. And this is always one of those things that I love to do on vacation, especially when we're at the beach. I try to do this at least one day. It's also like an incredibly safe area, so I feel totally safe doing this. I also like for this to be something that I do by myself. I don't know what it is. I always like to play like worship music and read my Bible and just really let it be a time for me to connect with nature and then also connect with God. I don't think I'll have a direct view of the sunrise, but I think it'll still be beautiful to see across the ocean. But yeah, there's something about doing this in solitude that is just really, really comforting. And I always just feel really close to God when I do this, so.
After my sunrise outing, I walked over to the spot in Princeville. This was about a 30 minute walk from Sea Lodge Beach and this was so good. I got a cold brew and then also their wake and bacon bowl, which had eggs, bacon, pico de gallo, potatoes and cheese. Super delicious. Back at the house now, I'm just doing a bit of work and I'm excited today. We're actually doing a kayaking adventure where you hike and kayak. I believe this actually goes to a waterfall. I think it goes to the Secret Falls. It's our last day here, which is so bittersweet. It always comes around so quickly. Definitely gonna soak up a nice last day of adventure. We booked our tour through Ancient River Kayak and we had such a great experience. We had Sierra as our guide and she was just so knowledgeable about all things Kauai and really taught us so much about the land and the wildlife and was honestly just a really fun person to be around. We began by kayaking the Wailua River and I will say that I'm not great at kayaking but I found this to be a very pleasant experience. They do put you in pairs so thankfully Aiden was also on my team with me and we had so much fun just kayaking down the river and seeing all of the jungle landscape it was really just such a different experience for me i don't kayak that often then you do a 45 minute hike to the secret falls on the hike itself we saw apple banana trees mango trees it was really so nice having sierra there to point out all the different trees because i feel like a lot of times on hikes i will just walk past that stuff and not really pay much attention 15 feet per year um, at max so these are really young trees um, I would never use this for anything like this. Essentially, Sierra was telling us about what the secret actually was. In this river area specifically, there are birthstones here, which were actually used to support mothers during childbirth. It was actually mandatory that all kings of Kauai be born in this specific region. And then royalty from other islands would also travel here to be born here, which I just thought was very interesting. And then on the way home, we stopped by Wailua Shaved Ice. We had to get some shaved ice. I got the Almond Joy, and I also got it with vanilla ice cream in the center and drizzled with sweetened condensed milk, which is definitely a Hawaiian specialty and also happens to be very delicious. Good morning. It is our last day here in Hawaii, but technically we're just flying home today. We are flying to Honolulu and then headed back to Dallas on a red eye. And so I will have links to everything we did down below if you want to do any of the reservations or anything. That'll all be down below and anything else that I mentioned. I'm definitely very sad to be leaving. I feel like this was the quickest week ever. It always is coming here. Sorry, it's a little bit windy this morning, but. I think that my favorite parts of this trip were definitely seeing all of the humpback whales on the boat. That was just so magical. And then also probably my sunrise. That was really special getting to do that. And then my favorite hike was definitely the one we did in the Waimea Canyon. That one was just so incredible and probably the least crowded, I think, because it's just a little bit more of a trek to get to, but I would definitely recommend doing that one. Of course, all the hikes I think are worth doing here, but especially that one, if you're just trying to do one, that one was my personal favorite. Really just so, so grateful for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.